So how I like to start my pastels is just on drawing them out on a regular piece of paper, the sketch that I'm looking for so I can get all the proportions that I want um, in place and on paper it's easier to if you have to erase or change things around. In this case I was looking working from two different photos and um, <clears throat> this is the head that they want and I just wanted a little fuller chest so I'm kind of went going between the two of these. For that I'm gonna do it on this is a nine and a half by twelve suede mat boards is what I do my pastels on and <clears throat> so this kind of eliminates drawing and because you can't really erase and stuff on this and I will make a stencil so almost like a carbon copy by rubbing the back of the paper with the pastel the chalk here and it is quite messy so you kind of have to be careful Just making sure I got tape on here too so that's probably not going to grab that's okay just to get a rough idea a very basic outline shape so for me to work with. It's always a good idea to have a, a little damp rag handy to brush away some of this excess or your fingers. And with this, I will then carefully find where I want to place this image. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit to maybe catch a little more of the ear at the top. And I added a little more room on this side for some negative space there. And then, very carefully, I will just trace this out pencil outline just using a ballpoint pen and not too hard because you will crush indent this suede and then it's hard to you'll see it even with the pastel as you're trying to go over it so just not too hard I will just kind of outline my a rough shape here And I'm just going to show you quickly how that go comes out. So it's a little bit smeared and blurry, but it gives a, a good rough outline to, for me to work with instead of a bunch of messy sketch lines. And I kind of put in rough shadows and lights and shadow areas as well kind of where the eye is going to be and you don't want to rub your hand on it like as very little as possible because it will just smear as well Probably all I'll need, I would think. So then, and that's what I have to work with to start filling in with the pastels. And 
the clear eye expression is usually things I look for. Um, outdoor lighting such as this is, is best because you really get the true color of the coat of the animal. And, and just a clear eye is important as well. I have my selection of pastels just like in a big container like this, all different kinds. I'm, some are a lot softer than others. So I will just kind of start. I usually try to find just base colors and it's a layering process. Um, there's a lot of blues in the black. So just in the ear, like I will just start um, shading in just a base color and I'm going to, a bit of his ear was cut off there, but we're just going to add that tip to it. And on the suede, like this, it's, it has quite an, a, it's quite a velvety finish, so there's very minimal smudging and smearing and actual blending that you can do with your finger. It, it grabs a pastel and stays pretty good. So it's just doing a lot. I just kind of roughly blend the, a base and then just work the layers and the details on the top as I go. And I'm always kind of keep being mindful of going in the direction of the hair most of the time. pretty well like I just kind of went up too high with that dark so I'll be able to go bring it the white over top to bring back the the white teeth here in this area eventually just getting the them in place sort of first here roughly where they're gonna go
peace.